Obviously it's snowing, just got these in the mail and I promised I was gonna make this video. These are the new props by DJI that fit the Mavic Pro. Supposedly they knocked down the decibels by three or four percent or something like that. I could care less about any of that. I care about real world results. I'm gonna test these and I'm going to show you guys the audio to see if there's a difference. Remember, where I live now, it's, it's 9,200 feet, so the altitude is uh, higher and the air is thinner, which makes sound travel much, much further. With my regular props on my Mavic, even at 400 feet, I can hear it crystal clear. So we're gonna find out if it can actually travel 200, maybe 400 feet up and not hear my drone anymore, or if they were a waste of money. We're gonna keep this pretty quick because it is some pretty fluffy snow and I don't want this getting too wet. I know there's plenty of videos out there showing this fly in the rain with no issues, but I'm not gonna chance it. Today, we're just gonna take it up. I'm gonna go up to like 100 feet. We're hovering about 10 feet from the ground and it's pretty loud. So I'm gonna get some other angles with my phone and we're gonna go up to 100 feet now. Okay, I'm at 105 feet, and I can hear it, no problem. I'm gonna go up to 200 feet. Strange, normally I can hear this so much easier. I guess with the snow, it deadens the sound. All right, this isn't gonna work. And there's almost no water on my Mavic at all. Crazy, crazy. As you can see, I've swapped the propellers, changed them over with the new ones. There seems to be a, a noticeably quieter hum to the propellers. It's not a huge difference. It's almost a lower pitch instead of a higher pitch, so I don't really know if it's quieter, it's just lower. So I'm gonna go up to 100 feet. Ooh, that does sound quieter, doesn't it? All right, that's 100 feet. 100 feet in the air. I can still hear it, but it is quieter. And I really think the snow has something to do with this because I tested these out earlier today. It was hot and sunny. There was no snow. I was out here in shorts and they were just as loud. I think the clouds and the snow are definitely changing the way they sound. Let's go up to 200. Okay, that's a huge difference. When I did this earlier, I went up to 400 feet and I could hear it super easy. Let me just listen. I can still hear it. It's not quite as loud. The snow makes a big difference. All right, bringing it back down. See, I don't always land it in my hand. I'm gonna take a minute and wait until the sun's out and it's a clear sky and do this test again. So I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow. At 400 feet, even with the new propellers, I can still vaguely hear it during the day like this without it being snowy, the sound comes through. Let me go ahead and put the other props on and let's see the difference. I don't know if you can even hear that, but I can hear it. You know what really sucks is I get this mobile CPU error overload all the time on the iPad now and DJI claims it's because the iPad's running hot. I just turned the iPad on and it's like 34 degrees outside right now. It's not hot. It's not hot at all. All right, let me bring this baby down and put the other propellers on. It's about 400 feet. Can you hear it? I can. It's hard for me to tell if it's actually loud or not. What this propeller is, is it's a higher pitch. The new ones are a low pitch, but they're not a huge difference. It's right above me at about 158 feet. 
and you can definitely hear it. That's one thing about being here in the mountains, is the air is, as I've said, so damn thin, you can hear almost anything. It really is that easy. It's starting to snow just a little bit. It's supposed to snow a good three inches tonight, so I'm gonna take this camera, head inside, and I'll finish this up in there. Visually, the main difference, besides this being gold and this one being silver, is the prop on the new one is wider, and then it comes out and flares differently and is longer at the tip of each one. Besides that, it works basically exactly the same as the standard props. It is a little quieter, mostly because it's a lower pitch, and this one is a higher pitch, so it just seems quieter. All the tests I've done with the built-in decibel things you can get for an app on your phone, the difference was uh, incredibly minimal. As far as flight time goes, you know, do you really get three to four more minutes out of this prop? I don't know yet. I'm gonna do that in a separate video and I'm gonna time it and we'll try that again. For this video, I just wanted to go over if it is actually quieter or not. Up here in the mountains where the air is thinner, 9,000 plus feet, these really make no difference whatsoever for me. If you broke these and they were the same price as these, yeah, sure, you can replace them with these. But if you're going out to buy new props and you really just want them to be quieter, save your money. Nobody's going to go, oh, there's a silent drone flying by. I can't hear it. It's not going to happen. This is a gimmick to make money. It was brilliant. It's brilliant. DJI was brilliant to put this out. The amount of these they've probably sold is probably through the roof and they really don't do anything different. Again, it is so damn minimal. I'm curious about the flight time. I will be uploading a video about that here shortly. If you haven't already, click subscribe and uh, click the little bell icon over there so you don't miss it whenever I update that. I appreciate everybody watching. Hopefully this helps save some of you some money. And if you just need props anyways, you know, go ahead. It's not gonna hurt anything. Appreciate it. Gotta go.